was a huge success. Last year, Cambodia Town worked with key partners in local and county agency to promote mental health services, outreach and educate Cambodians about COVID-19 vaccine and personal protection equipment, incidents and where to report. In 2022, Cambodia Town will proudly work with Pacific Asian Counseling Services on a Cambodian-American oral history project for the 1.5 generation. This project will study the impact of trauma on the Cambodian-American adults who were children during the Khmer Rouge genocide. Since you guys were the children so subsidized, this is more than an honor for me because of the fact that I've been with you since uh, 1974. My first student that came from Nam Pen was in my class. And I just want to let you guys know that it's been a privilege ever since the day I had you in my class and the day I met you. Sumi, I just want to let you know you're doing a great job in the community, which I was almost born, raised in. But you guys, Long Beach is my home. Long Beach will forever be my home. I just want to let every one of you in the just know tonight, I'm in a beautiful place today. Look at me. <laughs> I'll be 82 July 27th, but I feel like 21. So, you guys, it's a pleasure. My beautiful wife, she's still with me. I don't know how long she's with me, but she says I'm going to stick with you for a while. But you guys, I love you. God bless you. After working as a physician for more than 20 years, she opened her own clinic, Majestic Medical Clinic, in 2016. She was an orphan and a survivor of the atrocious war under the Khmer Rouge. Despite many struggles, she came to the U.S. as a 13-year-old refugee who did not speak English. Her survival, hard work, and resiliency helped her to provide compassionate care to her patients. Dr. Lee is one of a few Cambodian physicians in Southern California, and the only female Cambodian doctor actively involved in the Long Beach community. That deserves a round of applause right there. Girl power is what I say. Dr. Lee has won various awards and recognitions, including the 2017 Woman of Distinction Award by State Assembly Member Patrick O'Donnell and the 2019 Business Award by Long Beach Mayor Robert Garcia. She enjoys lake fishing. Wow. Singing, teaching, volunteering, and meeting people in the community. She's active in her church, and it is the first female pastor. Dr. Lee speaks, reads, and writes, writes Kamai and conversational level Spanish. Dr. Lee, congratulations. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely honored to be receiving such an important um, award, the Spirit of Cambodia Town. And I would like to thank Cambodia Town for this honor and also for their hard work in the community. I would like to thank my family who are here to support me today on this very important day. And you know how hard it can be to get teenagers all around together, right? So. Um, as they, they do have their own very busy schedule, and I'm very happy that they're here. And I would like to, if you indulge me, for my family to stand up briefly. Please stand up, my family. Thank you so much. You know, I like them to be recognized publicly because when I serve our community, it is them being part of the community because I take away their time of me being with them, and they're serving you through me being with you as well. And not only that, I'd like to thank my aunt, Nancy, my uncle, uh, mine, who's a pastor, for being there supporting me. And I didn't know how poor they were. I was shopping from their refrigerator when I was going to UCI. And uh, for my other aunts, I helped me as well as I was going through medical school. And I, you know, and everything, they were there supporting me and picking up my young children. And I also would like to thank my aunt, Nancy, for instilling in me work ethics 
and also to tell me to never be afraid to work hard because you know she's just retired not too long ago you know guess what she went back to work she just couldn't stay home so as Dee was saying you know he's 82 looking great and that gives a chance for you guys because I think that I will probably be like her because I work very hard, I volunteer a lot, so when I'm retired, I probably will still be volunteering and serving our community. Yeah, but also I would like to thank my husband, who God has put into my life. We started as nothing with two, as two orphan teenagers, but the church we grew up gave us the foundation of faith and trust in God. And our faith in Jesus taught us to care for others and to give to, and to serve others. My husband is a man who fully supports me in all that I do, from serving our commu Cambodian community to being a woman pastor and a leader serving at my church. Thank you, Bong Sam Lang Dung Jet, for the father. <laughs> for being the father of our four children, and three of whom had served uh, volunteer this year in the Jay Barman, King Jay Barman um, Court, and two of whom are going to study health in his ESD, and I'm very proud as a mom, as an orphan, to actually be blessed with four children. You know, I've faced life challenges in life, but each of them strengthened me and made me who I am today. A caring and a passionate medical doctor, a dedicated pastor, who knows that God has placed her on this earth with specific purpose in life, such as helping others to stay healthy physically and also to let them know that there is healing for the souls. And receiving this award tonight just kind of remind me of what Jesus has taught me in his Bible that says, seek first the kingdom of God, then all other things shall be added unto you. And it is as though God says to me that, and to you as well, to do for humanity as what God wants you to do. Do not worry about whether people see what you do or not, but do what is right and what the Father, the Heavenly Father went in to do. And God will take care of the rest and, and because He loves you. So receiving this award tonight, continue to solidify my faith in God and to remember to continue to serve my community and to share God's love, mercy, and salvation and to do what I continue to do and love, which is serving our Khmer community. And I sincerely thank each and, one, each and every one of you who are guests as well for coming to support Cambodian Town because without you, well, this wouldn't be this event, right? So thank you so much. Some awkward and some obvious thank you. I'm going to get to that. My friends, some awkward and people who chat about him. Hi, the door and one day. A crown come out. I need to cheer. Can we young all person? Some rap men men that can young do some rap to walk my young. Like Bobo, don't young mob be suck my minchy, but be bad young now. But never does have a married people. Oh, you mean okay? Now, by young real soul, now by young throw up the chim and loop. Now, away the young jump to her. Go by chin that's a race. So, this how I got here. So, take my thing away that fur. That can rock you out. I can't hear the chip and that, but I'm a dumb hat proud. ព្រះបានប្រើខ្ញុំមកធ្វើជាគ្រូកង្វាលដែលគេតែងការស្ត្រីធ្វើអាកាសរៀបកំពុងតែព្រះបានបង្កើតបរោះហើយស្ត្រ
and at Kaboki Town restaurant. I'm pretty sure everyone in this restaurant tonight recognize who I am. I am so happy that I be able to work with Cambodia Town. Thank you so much to Mr. Mano Romaniak. He's the first one to invite me to be with Cambodia Town in 2014. After that year until now, I continue to work with Cambodia Town. Never give up, no matter how tired I am, have less sleep, busy schedule. But I do and done my best to be with Cambodia Town and all my community everywhere in Southern California. Thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for all the recognition. I love you all. We look forward to working with you in 2023. Thank you. Rosanna Chanu Memorial. This year I'd like to invite Asin Chanu and Carrie, Carrie Chai to uh, join me at the podium to present the award to our um, scholarship recipients. Good evening and thank you Philip for the introduction. Cambodia Town named its scholarship program the Rosanna Chanu Memorial Scholarship in honor and loving memory of my beloved late wife who was a founding member of Cambodia Town. She continuously served on Cambodia Town Board of Directors from its inception in 2005 until her passing on September 22, 2020. Rosanna's dedication, hard work, and generosity to Cambodia Town earned her the affectionate nickname Mother of Cambodia Town. As someone who believed her college degree was a critical element for her success in achieving the American dream, Rosanna encouraged all students to pursue a higher education. This year, Cambodia Town awarded five scholarships ranging from $300 to $1,300. Scholarship applications were judged by a committee of four board members based on, based on the student's scholastic accomplishment and honors, community services, three personal essays, and two letters of recommendation. Now I would like to recognize and honor these, the four hardworking students who are here tonight to receive their award.
time.